Hi guys, I'm Ricky and this is my story. So yeah, uh, my story is quite a story, yeah. I, both my parents are pastors. I grew up in a godly home. Everyone knew about God, knew about God from when I was a child. When I was a child, I was really excited about God. I wanted to know God. And I was really seeing a lot of things about God. Until some point, I got distracted from like my family school. And that's how things started going sideways. In secondary school, I made some kind of friends I wasn't meant to make. I became the popular kid. I knew a lot of people, everyone was my friend. Then the more I became popular, the more I met the wrong people. I got into things that normally I was never into. I used to drink, then shisha. I, the only reason I didn't smoke was because I didn't want to. Anything I, I didn't do was because I just didn't want to. There were still some of these laid down principles that were in my head here, yeah, of course, because of where I was coming from. But then, Things had gone wrong. Later, I started. I used to write gospel songs as a child, but then I started writing uh, a whole lot of gangster raps, um, sexual songs, things like that. And it got really bad. There were times in between whereby I I cried, did, 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 gave my life to Christ. Two months later, I'm back over and over again. It, it wasn't even just, okay, I was just giving my life to Christ. I, I gave my life to Christ, got baptized with the Holy Ghost, and I still went back, lost it, came back, got baptized again, lost it. So it, it, it was a whole lot. And then it was just this life. I just wanted to put, on, put up with the life. And somewhere in my SS3, I got tired. The whole popular life trying to keep up with personalities, trying to keep up with people, trying to keep up with friends, keep the status and all that. It became stressful. And slowly but surely, I was going into depression. I started like cutting off from people, started being on my own. I started seeking attention because I needed an attention different from that popular vibe attention. I, I needed love. That was what I needed. And somewhere in 2020 August, God's love found me. While I was yet in sin. Now, there was somewhere around uh, 2019 December year, I spoke to God and I said, okay, that he should give me his spirit again. And he was like, I'll have to look for it this time. I'll have to struggle to get it. But funny how, for like the first two weeks, I was struggling. And then before you know, I went back to my old life. I was living my life. I didn't care about what was going to happen. I was just trying to push my music because at, at that time it was just that was all that mattered. I had this boyfriend then, and things were even going wrong. So everything was just starting to piss me off. And while I was yet in sin, I wasn't even looking for him. And he baptized me with the Holy Ghost. I wasn't even trying to be remorseful or anything. It just came and at that moment I was broken because I knew it could only be love like this could only be love nothing else because how would you tell me to struggle before I get something if I even struggled but I struggled for a short while it's still grace but now I didn't struggle I wasn't even living a good life I wasn't even acting a muscle and yet he still came back and came for me so yes I knew it was love and after that happened, I told myself I wouldn't go back again. I said I wasn't going to go back. I made up my mind that after this, I wouldn't go back. And I wrote a song called Thankful, Never Go Back. Because yes, I know I will never go back because of how thankful I am. So that's my story. Thank you. Um, sorry. When you told yourself you would never go back, since then, have you had any struggles? I've had many struggles, countless struggles. Till now, I still have some struggles. But then, I always knew. Recently, God told me, he, he let me know through his word that 
irregardless of the struggles I might have, that my works don't matter, the things I do don't matter. What matters is that I love him, I'm truly connected to him, and I truly, honestly, in my heart, want to make a difference. And he let me know that the more I go through his word, the more I read the Bible, the more I become like him. There are some things I used to struggle with, and I just noticed that as I continued reading the Bible, as I continued fellowshipping with him, those things left. Why? Because when you relate with a person, you notice you start to pick up little, little things from that person, even without you intentionally trying to. So I learned not to struggle with sin anymore. Instead, I just rubbed myself closer to God so that his likeness will rub off on me rather than me struggling with sin. And can you briefly tell us like your story about joining Talk with Christ? Talk with Christ. So on the faithful Sunday I was in church for a rehearsal and then Nikon walked up to me and he said God said he should meet me. And I was like, okay, we were not even friends. We didn't know each other. I probably seen him somewhere, but we're not friends. I was like, okay, about. And he told me. And funny how that same week I had gotten something similar. So I was like, okay, I'll pray about it and all that. And that was how the journey started. We got a confirmation, and I knew it was it. Moving, pushing, closing.